Wow, that was that was a uh, hello. It is December thirtieth, uh, Friday night, a week after last week's Friday night, which uh, we tried to do this and weather just wasn't letting it happen. But we are back, and we have Frank Wojo, we have Miss Roberta, and we are going to continue what we started. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Migo Corp Live Holiday Edition. Frank Wojo, you have to come. Hello, everybody. Happy New Year, right? New Year's. Don't worry. Yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry. Um, so cool. Very cool. I want to say hello to everybody out there. Thanks for joining us again on consecutive weekends. We greatly appreciate it. Um, just a couple of things I wanted to talk about that we really didn't get to hit on last week. First off, I wanted to talk about Minix. I don't know if you guys are aware, uh, but Migo is actually putting out Minix figures. Uh, the first wave consists of Stranger Things, uh, The Witcher from Netflix, where Harry, Henry Cavill plays the lead character, uh, Squid Game, and also Money Heist. These collectible, they're, you know, figurines, I guess you could call them. They're kind of like, the, I guess, like vinyl, uh, about five inches tall. They're really cool. I can tell you, you know, my kids actually love the way these look, the Stranger Things. But these are available on the Migo store on Amazon.com. They will be available on Walmart.com if they're not already here shortly. Uh, all of your e-tailers who carry Migo figures have the ability to carry these. Uh, so these will be coming out shortly. If you're interested, check them out. Like I said, the first group to come out is Stranger Things, Squid Game, uh, Money Heist, and The Witcher. Uh, I can also tell you coming up is Wednesday, uh, Wednesday Adams, uh, her friend Enid, for Enid from the new show Wednesday. Um, what else? I think there are some football, international football stars coming out like that. So check them out. They're pretty cool. That's Minix from Migo. Uh, awesome, man. I've never, yeah, I've never nice. actually seen this. Hey, do you have, just so real quick, do you have a, a loose uh, eight-inch figure? A on hand, I just, I just I just want to see a comparison between the two. Yep, hold on. I, I'm really thinking about collecting these things. There's a beauty, huh? Okay, hold well, on. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but there you go. Wow. Okay, that's not Funny bad. Hey, and and for you, for those of you that do not know uh, what Frank is holding there, uh, one of the reasons why Frank is holding that is because between him and Tyler Green and nobody else, they. Ham. Engineered this whole thing. What did I say? Green. <laughs> Tyler Ham. But yeah. Oh, did I say because 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 Ted? I'm sorry, Tyler Ham. Tyler agreed. Wow. Because but, Ted Ted's comment came up. Yeah. Right. But back I mean, to that. Back to that. Minix. It's a uh, pretty cool. You know, I think there's a lot of cool things playing with this line. Can't really get into all everything planned for next year, but I think some of the licenses that are coming out next year will appeal to all of us Migo heads. So just stay tuned for that. That's Minix. Right. Yep. So awesome. that's not just limited to Netflix stuff. No, 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 no. Cool. It's, not gonna, it's not gonna be. Nope. That's gonna I be did, great. Yeah. I did have I did have somebody before you bring up the this next guy here which yeah, I'm looking yeah. at I, I did have somebody uh, tell me today it was actually it was a compliment from a person that does not give compliments and what he said is he goes, quote, I hope Migo continues their relationship with Netflix because if everything mm -hmm. is as good as what you're fixing to show, I have the same one, then they've really got something there. He said this is to him. This is uh, and again, he's not one to throw compliments out. He goes yeah. to him. This is this is what he would call a perfect set. He just awesome. loved everything about it. And he's not and this is not even his thing. So, OK. But well, not to interrupt you, go ahead. With no, okay. Have. I think this is what you're talking about. The well, it is. Netflix, Guillermo, Guillermo, I can't say it, Del Toro. There you go, Del Toro. Guillermo Del Toro's Pinocchio. You see that? That is still oh, yeah. available. If you guys have not got this yet, um, this is available on the Ego Store on Amazon.com. It is available on Walmart.com. And all of your familiar e-tailers that carry Migo will have the availability, have the option or be able to carry this as well so it's a really cool set if you take a look at it mm -hmm. i mean the oh, yeah. i mean it's really cool really well done 
Yeah, and for uh, you, you said it's still available. Actually, um, these things just started hitting uh, the WalMarts. I thought uh, right before, right, right before, before the other stuff. Right, but well, actually, I think it was right before Christmas. They were actually reports of them showing up at, at Walmart stores. Mm -hmm. um, if I'm not mistaken, they're still available on Walmart.com, the Migo store on Amazon.com, and like I said, all of your familiar retailers like myself. We will actually, have, you know, have the availability, have the option, or the be able to carry these as well. So they're really cool. And I think, you know, if you, haven't, if you haven't seen the movie yet, I would, I would, you know, I would definitely check it out because the movie is really, really good. Frank, we got our uh, our favorite uh, toy venture guy is okay. has joined us. The only toy venture guy, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, still, you know. I'm glad you like me. <laughs> hey folks, how are you? Pretty, but, pretty um, good, man. Much better with sound and clarity and, and everything, right, and right, right, people right. Was synced up. You and, still don't have any lights. I I do, <laughs> but the more light I have, the worse I look. So there you go. Well, that's but, what happens when you get a year older. Yeah, that's right. You should, in five, it, well, thank you. Listen, in five years from now, seriously, I will be totally in the dark on these things. Yeah, right. so we won't see yeah. nothing. Yeah. yeah, I'll be wearing a robe. <laughs> <laughs> but there it is. Very cool set. Definitely check it out. Yeah, that that thing looks amazing. I don't yeah. know if those are going to hit Canada. I was telling Scott that earlier today, but. I, I haven't seen the film. My wife watched it and said it's oh, great. It is, um, yeah. It re it really, 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 really is. It, but I'm just I, taken aback by the design on that. It just looks so cool. There's a lot. I mean, I mean, there's a there's tons of Oscar buzz all around this around the film. I mean, it's it's really getting a lot of good, great reviews actually. And 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 and, and it, it not to segue, but I, I really I really think it helped it that they came out with the with the tom hanks pinocchio honestly if that doesn't push you into watching it nothing will because <laughs> it's it was just like night and day you know like, night yeah, and right, day right. yeah i didn't even know where you did watch the top. like I, I i live in a bubble sometimes and i saw memes about it and i was like is that in the theater like you know. i think i think it was exclusively on disney plus if i'm not mistaken yes <laughs> yeah so, okay. it was yep there you go. Yeah, no one, no one I knew said anything kind about it whatsoever. Um, yeah, and I, I have, you know, I have reservations about remaking these movies. It just seems to be like um, a cash grab, but not in the case of like when you're doing something different with the story, like Del Toro yeah. is doing. Is that's mm -hmm. interesting to me? But what yeah, the things a film is weird. One of the things that I really uh, admired about the movie, and, and, and which to me, not only did it, it just kind of reminded me th this is a musical in a way. There are like actual, you know, uh, singing performances, but but it's like uh, it's like a musical once was like uh, 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 it's it's part of the story. It's not some big production where, you know. Uh, where unrealistic stuff happens or like with like how Disney's mm -hmm. been doing where they tie everything into like, you know, modern happenings and, yeah. and, uh, mm -hmm. uh, where they'll have like, you know, like a, whatever it might be a rap part or, or, uh, you know, throw in some modern dialogue or, or whatever's going uh, on, like, uh, uh, TikTok type stuff, you know, you're I mean, just show, you're showing your dad, uh, bones there because I know, like, oh, I know modern I know. rap. I listened to yeah. rap in high school, dude. I couldn't uh, think of it. I, <laughs> I couldn't think of. Uh, uh, I, still I, think, I know. I'm guilty. Yeah. I'm guilty because I say rap to my kids, and they say, like, "God, you know that's oldie stuff." I'm like, huh? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I remember the the scolding I got when I called it. Uh, I think I called it anime or anime. And my daughter was like, "Oh, we don't do that anymore." It's like, oh, well, I, <laughs> yeah, right. I've I've missed some meetings, you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's but funny. Know. One thing I wanted to point out on the on the Pinocchio movie too, and you don't know if everybody's aware of this or not, but the way that it was made, it was like stop motion anima animation. It was like I saw a special where it took them like twenty hours of filming to get like five minutes of film to use or some 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 crazy number like that but it, it was amazing the time that went into you know posing it was really it's really cool it's really cool it was um you know way, well I'm really happy yeah. to see stop motion 
still a thing because yes. it's mm -hmm. it's disappeared from you know major blockbusters you know like the ray harry house and kind of stuff is now just yep. all yep. computers yep. Exactly. so um i get the idea like i love the idea that it's still being embraced somewhere it's still like yeah. this yeah. is the best way to do this film and you know you've got tim burton doing stuff like that and oh yeah, yeah. On it. yep and it still works it's still completely oh, relevant right. yeah it it's, absolutely it's an art form mm -hmm. it is it's an art form and it, it and you know it's it costs more money to do it like that. And then right. so somebody still, you know, yeah. still go, go out and achieve that. You know, you can't you get what you, you pay for. You, though. Mm -hmm. you do. You oh. absolutely do. Yeah. You absolutely yeah. do. Absolutely do. Um, now, do, do I re remember correctly now was the Mego figures based on, I mean, did they actually have some of the products from the movie itself or for some reason I'm thinking when it was being sculpted, when it, or that? am I thinking wrong? No, I think you're right. I think Joel said something like they were given files yes. okay. from the, the production designs, and those had to be obviously changed for toy, yeah. you know, right. toy purposes. But yeah, I remember that okay. was a real selling point. Was yeah. that right. We, Could, when you look at the them. toy and you look at the movie and everything, it, it, it's almost exact. They That's what just that. amazes yeah. me about yeah. them. Yeah. I tell you, they yeah. worked. Migo worked hand in hand with Del Toro's camp on, on this set you know sharing stuff back and forth to get it as close as possible so and what's really kind of cool too is uh del toro uh migo uses somebody in del toro's camp to also sculpt figures different camp you know right but right. um he, he you know sean works for del yep. toro quite a bit and he sculpts a yeah. lot of heads for migo so that's kind of funny that that it is those, it those is. worlds that's, collided yeah it's pretty cool mm -hmm. actually yeah very cool very cool so just to switch gears real quick, I wanted to get into, um, I know we got a lot to cover, but again, I want, I want to make sure I cover everything that I need to cover tonight. Um, just so next up in February, I wanted to bring to everybody's attention, Warminster PA, ZoloCon. That ZoloCon will be February 25th and 26th. Um, Miga will have a booth set up. I think somebody else on this panel will have a booth set up. Um, yeah, I'll be there. Tyler, yeah. You awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know uh, NEC is going to be there. The Four Horsemen are going to be there. It's supposed to be a really, really kick-ass toy show. I, I, you know, we've never gone before, but we're looking yeah. forward to it. The turnout. I, I, I want to talk Jason from uh, White Elephant to come. Okay, cool. And uh, yeah, I, I should be there, and I should be there with my son, which uh, nice. I've never brought him. Oh, to US, awesome! So, yeah, that's cool. That's very cool. Yeah, looking forward to seeing you again, Brian, in person. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you can see you. Hey, yeah. there's Art. Hi, Art. Hey, Art. So that I don't be see really everybody's cool. name. Some people are, are saying stuff and like they say hi and it's like go. hi, Facebook user. Well, um, we do, <clears throat> oh, right, right. We do we are seeing a lot more names as of late, and, and that's that's yeah, that's good. That helps a weird, lot. weird glitch. Yeah. Yeah. So but yeah, Zolcon sounds like it's gonna be a blast. And that leads me into something else happening later in the year in August. I'll let Mr. Brian Heiler talk about that again. <laughs> oh, sure. Um, yeah, Migo Meet is happening this year in a, a new form, and we're going to give it a shot. We're going to pair up with PowerCon and have our own Migo section, Migo panels. Um, I, got, I got a lot of things I want to kind of work out with them, and they've just been fantastic. And, of course, Frank will be there, um, and we're going to be setting up uh, – Amigo section to PowerCon, and I, you know, I went last year, and I was talking about this in the last time last week. Loved the vibe, loved the energy, and uh, really think we can bring something special to it. At least have a little bit of fun, and it'll be, you know, it's been we haven't had Amigo in three years, so uh, this is this is something long overdue, and I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, it'd be like Amigo Power Meet, but yeah, there you go. I, I again, I really liked. The the energy the I've got the dealers room was fantastic. It was absolutely and and the whole um, the whole vibe of the show where they had you know the toy companies and the toy you know YouTubers and stuff like that that was the stars you couldn't get um, yeah. you know Virgil wrestling superstars on a crowd, uh, but you right, could right. talk to the guys uh, Dan from Toy Galaxy or Pixels it was a lot of Dan's yeah and. Um, I enjoyed that, and um, I just uh, so so. I, sorry, I lost Here. train of thought there, but 
I, I think we can um I think we can have a lot of fun at this. And I've got a lot of surprises. I know I know everybody's kind of working on some stuff, but we're gonna try and make it really special this year. Yeah, I can't wait, man. I can't yeah. wait. I, I, so, I, you know, I, I miss a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> so so Brian, am I am I uh assuming that uh there will be uh an auction for uh yeah, um, we have to probably do that pre Migo meet. This has not been the best years financially for us, and we've got some bills to pay. Um, I'm working on something really special in January um, that will not be an auction so much, but it's like a, 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 a an item that we're going to be selling. 100% of the profits will go directly to our bandwidth fund. And um, yeah, like I, I, I designed something. Well, Robin designed it, actually. I just sent it to, to, to China. But um, we're going to make a little uh, a collector's item uh, for Migo Museum fans. And I hope yes. it goes over well. If it doesn't, it's no big deal because I'll bring them to Migo meet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we're going to do like a little. Um, is everyone allowed to attend Migo meet 2023? I don't. I don't understand. Um, yeah. So we're going to be um, we're going to be doing that, and um, look for, like I think we're going to have to do the the auction prior, or at least a limited auction prior to Mega Meet. But that you know that won't affect the show at all. I'm just looking at the. Think, oh, I'm go sorry. Ahead, go ahead. No, you go ahead. No, Roberta. I think I think that question that someone was asking is is they're they're wanting to know basically is it uh, open to everybody, not just maybe Mego ambassadors. Uh, this is oh, part of PowerCon. It's part of PowerCon. And yeah. now, is the Migo meet? Is that an anything additional to it? Or if you basically buy PowerCon tickets, you have access to it? That's correct. Is that yeah. correct? Okay. The, the only I thing think that is, might answer that question. I hope so. Um, the only thing is that the dealer section is um, well. It always was finite. Even at Migo meet, we'd sell out. Mm -hmm. But the special Migo. Um, uh, the special Migo section, we have a limited amount of tables. They are at a reduced price, which is very generous of Val. And uh, that, you know, those will, we will probably run out of that, but, um, you know, I, we'll, we'll work that out. We're going to try and do our very best to get, you know, to, to get a great representation of Migo. Yeah, Mead. absolutely. And, absolutely. Uh, I like some of we do not allow guys with fake beards and fake baskets. <laughs> yeah, we also don't want two kids in a trench coat. Um, yeah. <laughs> but and yeah, I think I think it's going to be a, a fun thing. And the, the bonus, I think, is that PowerCon itself, I mean, I spent a lot of money at PowerCon and I didn't buy a single <laughs> Migo item. <laughs> Uh, I bought, so you know, Amigo, but I bought I bought a ton of stuff. I mean, there was yeah. stuff I had never I had never seen in person there before. I mean, you know, oh, there was some really cool stuff yeah. in there. I know, I know where you got, I know where you got your Falcon stuff from. Yeah, sure do because he reached back out to me. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I was supposed to get back to him over Christmas. Crap. Yep. Well, I'm yep. glad. I'm glad. I'm glad somebody bought something from him because I can't afford him. Every time oh, no. I'm like, we always talk and talk and talk. Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Lots of for, cool for, for what, what we're talking about for people watching is uh, Brazilian GI Joes that are called Falcon, and they make just crazy designs like space characters and and. Uh, I'm addicted to the sci-fi stuff, Frank. I think you just like the military stuff. You know? I, I like the, the more adventure team stuff, but you know, I have been delving into that sci-fi stuff too. So I'm going down that rabbit hole too. So, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> it, it's it's bad enough that that the sets are just just over the top, but it's an eagle yeah. eye kung fu grip Joe yeah. with a with a, with a. a uh, the super body or the the muscle hey, body. So yeah, I, yeah. I, it's the 19, <laughs> hey, it's the nineteen seventies all the way around again. World's greatest yeah. superheroes, muscle body Joes. You know, I'll take it. You can't even yeah. you can't even get an eagle eye muscle. But I mean, it's just like those. inflation, gas shortages. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I, I do, I do love. Um, oh, I think Joel said. I think that's Joel commenting, saying, "Looking forward to seeing everyone. Let's find a place to have a beer and a talk." And that is exactly. the one thing that Migo meet will have that power yes. con people won't have is we want to have yes. a Migo meet space, mm -hmm. be it in right. the hotel, but we want a Migo suite yep. and there will be kind of like a, 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 
process we you know we register yes. for the Migo suite kind of thing and yep. but that that'll be superfluous to the show um you know you're, you're you're welcome to attend the show but um that whole thing we're we're still working out the details and that sort yep. of thing but we definitely want uh a reunion space you know for, oh, yeah. for Migo Migo yeah. uh Migo meet attendees absolutely and um, just real quick I, know, I don't think we threw this out there that is august 11th through 13th of next year that's in columbus ohio so make your hotel accommodations now check out the powercon website put in your time off from work now i to see you guys there hey, I'm, I'm, heading, I'm heading down now to get prepared uh. <laughs> hey i'm packing stuff up i'm getting ready so so real quick um which which we didn't go over this part, and that's my fault, Roberta. Uh, tonight is also about uh, giveaways. We have a ton of uh, figures that we're just going to give away for everybody from throughout the year who's participated and who's just logged on with us or whatever. ZLC has uh, donated uh, a complete set, well, a complete set as of now, of the world's greatest box heroes. Uh, to go along with absolutely retro and a ZLC personally expressed uh, for me to relate to you guys uh, a very, you know, a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year. They look forward to the new year and the relationship with Migo and, and everybody in the community. And uh, they're, they're just just uh, overall thanks across the board for them. And this is their way to show uh, uh, thanks. And Frank, you have as well? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give away uh, two sets of the new PXDC exclusives. So that'll be three figures, two sets of three figures of Red Sun Superman, Red Hood, and Flashpoint Batman. Um, so, you know, for me, you know, I talked to a lot of you guys out there throughout the weeks, throughout the days. I just want to say thank you. I mean, geez. I mean, you know, two, three years ago, whatever it is, when Migo came back, who would have thought? I mean, God, I can't I can't even begin to express my gratitude to everybody out there. Just thank you so much. So, so, so much. Much appreciated. Thank you guys. Let's uh, uh let's let's do uh, uh let's uh Roberta, you ready? I'm you gonna you? try. Okay. Let's do let's do the tenth person to uh tenth person to uh, type in uh, world's greatest superhero rules. And you will get a set of uh, two uh, Batman and Robin. There you go. And go. Tenth person to say world's greatest superheroes rule or WGSH rules. Oh, wait. You just changed the rules. Oh, no, I did. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. Okay. You're just basically saying you'll accept both. That makes sense. Right. Yeah. That works. <laughs> wow. This is rapid. <laughs> I think I got whoa, it. Whoa, whoa. Just glad you I'm got it. I thought you got it. Who was it? Yeah, yeah, but now <laughs> I'm hoping their name. Ah, oh, they're. Uh, it's Facebook. It's user, going it? quick. Yeah. I do have a John. User. First name is John. John. If I could at least see the. Rest. It went quick. You guys are really fast. Wow. Yeah. Let me go down and find that. <laughs> <laughs> that really did just like crazy fast, right? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> hey, thank you, Frank, for being my Migo supplier. I, it just sounds like drug dealer so much, but it's <laughs> hey, I'm right there with you guys. My name is Frank. <laughs> I have a I have a problem. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to attempt the last name. It's P-I-A-S-E-C-K-I. -E oh. I know who that is. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't want to butcher his name either because I've never said it out loud. Exactly, Johnny. Congrats, John. Hey, Congrats. Just what he needs, another Migo. Okay. Hey. Hey, John, you won, buddy. And so what I'm going to do is I wonder if I can copy and paste without canceling the internet. Okay, let me see if I can do that. Anyway, John, this guy right here, John, you won. Oh, cool. Very cool. Is that him? Yes. That's what I thought. Okay. You know what? I, the I, there's, a guy, there's a guy at my work named, uh, his, his name is extremely long, and John's just saying, just say JP. 
we have a JP at my work because it's just <laughs> like, you know, I know well, how to say his name. You know, I think it's Pia Warchuk, but it does yeah, not look yeah. like that. Uh, <laughs> Where do you, well, that's just like Wojo. That comes from a, that comes from somewhere. <laughs> you see, yeah. Yeah. Well, thank God for Barney, Barney Miller. Miller. We all know. Yeah, I was just going to say for Barney Miller. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. PIA. And, oh, and didn't he go Good on God. to, uh, wasn't he, uh, he was, he was like a bad guy in some movies after that, wasn't he? Or something like Max that? Gale? What did he do? Yeah, what's the, what did he do? He did uh, something where he, he was in a sitcom with uh, Moonyan at Zappa. That's all I know. And I never thought I'd be oh, spending wow. my How Friday night know? talking about Max Gale's career. Yeah, how did you remember that? I remember things that are unimportant. <laughs> yeah, no, that is important, but I don't. You I mean, don't I don't have that in common here. <laughs> yeah. Was it, was it called Valley Girl? It must have been, right? I, it was, no, I think it was both. God, um, I think it was both the Zappa. Uh, kids, uh, Moon Unit and Dweezil had a sitcom together, and he was the dad. Which is like, <clears throat> if you're going to make the Zappa children's father, it, it, you don't really land on Max Gale. You know? Yeah, that's like yeah. he looks so much like Frank, you know, not <laughs> yeah. like Lojo Frank. But... <coughs> okay, so we got John. He was a DC cat. That's right. Ah, uh, yes, he was. Yeah. Okay. There we go. All right, so that's. And that's uh, okay. That's one, Frank. You want to you want to throw another one out before uh, you guys start chattering again? You want to do one uh, of uh, go? <coughs> yeah, right. Go right ahead. I mean, what you could do is how about if the next one? This will be a set of the three uh, PXDC exclusives, and um, I don't know. How about the? I don't make it too hard on Roberta. Twelfth person to put in Red Sun. Yeah. <coughs> Are those okay. everybody, everybody, don't you have those? What's that? Hmm? The, the 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 DS the Diamond Select stuff is that out? Because I I haven't seen it at any shops. Yes, and if you oh. need it, I'll talk to you. No, I, I've got them on order. I just um, and I'm not in a terrible hurry for any of it. I but um, it. yeah, yeah, oh, I can possibly grab a, a couple here. Hold on. Yeah. So it's which one did you come up with? Roberta. Hang on. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I've, if I'm counting right, I've got Brenda. Hmm. They look really good. Okay. So let me let me let me go back down. So I could I can yeah. I can it's grab the thing. And, yeah. That's all right because I can grab it and go right back up to. Okay. So here we go. That for my son because that's one of his favorite uh, Elseworld stories. It came out good. I it think looks really. Good. It looks really good. Yeah. Yeah, they did. They both do. I've never read Flashpoint, but um, I was I out of comics then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I read Sun. I read. I think I. Oh no! I think I just watched the film. I don't read comics. Okay, so here we go, Roberta. Let me. I'm just going to start where it starts at. Okay, the first one. Uh, well, the first three are Facebook users. The fourth mm -hmm. one's Gregory Harris. Five is Brenda J. Uh, something. Six is Ricardo. Uh, seven is John Zukowski or something like that. Uh, eight hey, Mary is Christmas William, Bruce. William, jo William Joseph. Nine is Facebook user. Ten, Facebook user. Eleven is Michael Gilbert. And twelve is Red Sun Facebook user Shane Bird. So it, yeah. oh, Shane Bird. That's what I got. Yeah. Going back and Shane. counting. Yeah. Congrats, Shane. And let me just type that up. Look, I, I feel I feel so efficient that I'm actually <laughs> typing this in the comments. There you uh, go. I just find you look like you're in the champagne room. And uh, this is coming from me. <laughs> I, I mean, I am. A bookstore. Um. <laughs> no, actually, you know what? This is there's 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 zero stress tonight, can you tell? I mean I'm, there's just no no stress around me. I was I was able to eat beforehand. My son's here. He cooked some. He's learned. He's he's actually learned how to cook something his mother never had. <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. But uh, uh, he some nice Asian cuisine, and nice. so I've I've eaten. Everything yeah. is copacetic, and except for I just lost my comment. What happened? That's not good. 
Just I was like Frank today. I had a million orders oh. to ship. And, <laughs> I got, and you know, that year end kind of stigma. It's like, um, Dude, I am here working full tilt. <laughs> yeah. I, I, um, I, I was not shipping. Uh, well, I was shipping like super collectors, but I sold a yeah. bunch of these, you know, the little polyester oh, nice. Yeah. Um, it, it's kind of funny to be carrying a ton of boxes, but every box is about this big. All uh, right. Yeah. So it doesn't like it doesn't weigh anything, but it's this big awkward Jenga you're no, carrying yeah. into the shop, you know. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Okay, so two two contests down and. What else do we have? Hey, so how's uh, how's Toy Ventures? Uh, how's the newest issue coming along? I have I spent, a, uh, uh, most of the day um, debating. Uh, this is this has been this is going to be. By the way, issue nine is going to be really mego heavy. I didn't, you know, plan to do it this way, but it, sometimes things just have to come out. Yeah, cool. I spent the entire day uh, trying to figure out. Yeah what card is first why they switch the general ursus urco names right um and you know what what variations there were on you know alan verdon and okay it's been it's been um it's been a really thank you very much bruce um it's been a very interesting and long day but there's something accomplished but it's going to be um planet of the apes migo and then we've got the ultimate guide to the comic action heroes, okay. which is something I've always wanted to do. I love the comic action heroes. Very cool. And then there's a really interesting article that's currently being worked. Um, that's not about Mego, but is about Mego. And um, I can't wait to show that one off. Like it's really cool. And I've had some help. So, and then nice. we've got uh, a new column starting. We've got already got the basement of horror from Ray Castile. And then we've got, um, a chance priests toy box and next month the guys i don't know if you guys are familiar with this show but if you're not check it out on youtube it's called uh lester vintage toy shop and they have a, a series called toy shop on tour that is oh, cool television quality show mm -hmm. uh, they are going to be contributing a, a regular column as well and i'm really looking forward to the stuff they bring to the table because they they collect some really really interesting stuff and, We've been uh, watching you know, that lately. Oh yeah, it's it's of fun, that. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It's wonderful. Yeah, and I I really like Joe and Gav. They're just they're, they're in it for the right reasons. They're just they're toy yeah. lovers, and um, yeah. I, I'm I'm excited that they're going to be that they they pitched it to me. Said, "Could we do a, a, a column every issue?" And I was like, "Oh my god, <laughs> yes!" You know, I thought I'd have to hard sell you guys. So <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun wow. issue. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome though. That's awesome. I, I can't, I can't wait to show you guys the premium because uh, I don't. Ha I, I would have shown it if I had one in front of me, but it's Mego related and it's really cool. Oh, nice. I, yeah, I really like the 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 how the layout is evolving and in, in the uh, <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> you know, I said this from the beginning. I mean, it's it's it just looks. It's it's professional is is it's better than some of the some of the stuff that's you know out there as far as I mean you could follow it you know exactly where you're at you know it's not a yeah I, I I know it's getting better because when I look at the early issues I cringe you know <laughs> what I mean like I loved them at the time but now I look at it and go why did I do that you know and uh, so that that that's usually a sign that you're getting better at something you know. Mm -hmm. Well, check this out, right? I I have all, all of them. Right? I read them, yeah. you know, quite frequently, and I leave them, you know, maybe on the coffee table or on the kitchen table. My eighteen-year-old daughter says, "Dad, is that Brian? That's the Brian we met at PowerCon." I was like, "Yeah." She's like, "That's a really well-done magazine." Wow, I was thank like, you, Tom, thank you very much. <laughs> I was like, "Did you expect anything less?" I mean, come yeah. on. <laughs> well, you know, uh, from my eighteen-year-old. There you go. Yeah. So, hey, that's that's praise. I mean, that is a print magazine. <laughs> So that's fantastic. Tell her thank you very much. I will. I will absolutely. But absolutely. she's in your world. I mean, she said she is. She's, she's, you know? so she's into all that stuff. Yep. Yeah. So definitely cool. So um, we're, go are ahead. you gonna have uh, uh, going now? Now I'm kind of jumping all over the place. I don't mean to be, but uh, going back to the uh, to the Migo meet at PowerCon. I'm assuming that uh, Toy Ventures will. 
be there set up and as far as uh oh yeah 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 i i <clears throat> definitely i'm definitely going to represent toy ventures um i'll probably have you know every available issue there as well right. as you know if we have any of the tura figure left that sort of thing i'm gonna try and make some special gimmies for the show it's gonna be it's gonna be uh you know I, I, it's lovely to have eight months to plan yes i'll just say that you know yep yep and with and, and a lot of the pressure well i say I, I don't know i i say that but i'm assuming because technically it's going to be under another roof a lot of the pressure should be gone as well you don't have to you know, there's yeah, um, like Steve's um, Steve's uh, uh, going through some stuff right now, and he's he's not as um, it's not as available as he once was. So this is a beautiful training wheels experience because um, I don't live there, and you know none of us do. So we want to uh, teaming up with somebody who's obviously held successful events in there is, is really helpful and yeah i will not lose sleep i mean i will lose sleep when <laughs> i get there um but <laughs> right yeah it, it's it's um but that's willfully losing sleep staying up too long in the migo suite so I, uh, there you go <laughs> looking forward to that yeah, that's yeah, a different, I think uh, what, uh, what's really cool about this you know about migo meat being a power con i mean you know, we're all going to go and we, we all love Migo and we know what Migo is about. But just to get that additional exposure to all those people who are coming to PowerCon maybe for something else and they get to see what the Migo collecting community is all about firsthand. So that's pretty cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. Be able to, you know, bring them over, <laughs> you know, introduce them to Migo and that kind of stuff. So I'm excited. I'm really excited. Yeah, I am too. Um, and well, there's a lot of planning, but yep planning is fun i love projects and yeah. um i'm trying to figure out what i want to do i think i may be um doing a special publication i'm not 100 sure oh, nice. That'd be but, cool. you know eight oh, that months, would be awesome eight months to plan i could probably do something mm -hmm. really cool and uh yeah. I'm, I'm thinking about it uh thinking Very about cool. it a lot you know and my publisher so, will be there too, so that's kind of cool. Oh, nice! Oh, yeah. awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, a couple of people have asked. Uh, Jason was Jason Seville was he was he man he he gave it his he gave it his best. The last I heard from him is is uh, he was he just logging in wasn't wasn't working for him. And as far as Kevin is concerned, the Don had to go take care of some mafia business, aka his his uh, Marlene's. Uh, family was coming over, and he probably said, "He said, he said when they're in the house, there's not a quiet room, not only yeah, not in this in. house, <laughs> but, but not in the neighbor's house either." He said, yeah. "Oh, said, I get uh, that. I, I come. My wife comes from a very large French family, and that is, uh, you can go to another room and try to sleep, but it's not going to happen. Uh, you know, you should just hang out with everybody. Yep, that's awesome, yep. though." Yeah, because it is. I mean, this is pre New Year's Eve, so yeah. I guess people are going to get their uh, their holiday on. Uh, Brian, you want to do uh, you want to do a giveaway? I have. Uh, we'll do uh, sh from ZLC. We'll do uh, Shazam and Aquaman. Oh, cool! So anybody sure. that uh, you come up with the rules, and we'll follow your lead. Oh, uh, by the way, I just want to respond to Derek. Yes, Derek, I will be hitting you up on the carded pocket heroes thing. I, I have you in mind. <laughs> Thank you very much for the offer. And nice go. to see you. Okay, so um, let's do the 11th person. Uh, what's the word I want to use? Um, to type Mr. Mentor. <laughs> if anyone gets that <laughs> reference. There you go. So Spelling. the person to type Mr. Mentor gets a Aquaman and Shazam, which I did not have as a child. And those two particular figures um, really made me happy. It's a weird feeling. It's such a nostal wave of nostalgia of holding those. It's just... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. I am... Wait, wait. Somebody actually wrote on the 11th. That's funny. 
Oh, uh, so we got one, two, three. <laughs> oh man, um, I know, right? This is hard. One, yeah. two. Oh wow. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna. Okay, so everyone can stop doing that. That would be great. <laughs> I don't think it works like that. Okay, no, maybe. Really? Right? Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It is. I have. I have Willie O'Burke. Who do you have? You said eleven, right? Oh yeah, I can't. I can't. I. I'm. You're way ahead of me. Um, oh I, no. Oh snap. Because somebody. Somebody. I'm not. Oh yeah, I see what happened. Yeah, you you. Left hold on, me. hold on. Yep, yep. Oh, oh, I am so sorry. Oh man, this is I'm this is someone different. Seven, eight, yeah, nine, ten. I got Michael Gilbert. That's who oh, I had. Gilbert. Congrats, Michael. I congrats. yeah. These two, I'm I'm bad did at you, this. Did you not? If, well, we could count again because I got say. No, so no, I no. Had, no. I, I, I just that's who I came up with on the eleven. Yeah. Okay. 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 I trust Roberta uh, over me. Yeah. So I'll tell you I what. Uh, so okay, Mike, you won these two fellas right here. Mr. Oh, congratulations! Those are those are probably my favorite of the lot, and I think it goes to that unrequited, not having them as a kid and seeing them in the store kind of vibe. And they're really they really nailed those two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did. Yeah, and actually, I got to tell you what I do like is i actually like the way <laughs> i don't know what it is but his the, just the way like the suit fits his torso looks a little bit longer he looks he just looks a little bit he, i don't know he just looks a little bit like you know he's got more shoulders he's ready to get it on more than you know the Rip. original aquaman yeah. sorry about yeah. that Vigo, but i actually don't really want to take them out of the box i think they look really they look great like, they yeah. look great mm -hmm. sitting yeah. there yeah like you know how you, you get a vintage like well, I, I buy a vintage carded figure and the head is going like this. Yeah. And you're like, damn, you know, um, <laughs> mm -hmm. there's no, f <laughs> well, you know, mileage varies, but all the ones I got were looked perfect, you know? Mm -hmm. I have so seen like where he's already taken an adventure in a tub. Oh, yeah. Did oh. In a tub. Oh. Yes. That's cool. <laughs> I can't remember who posted that, but yeah, that was pretty cool. Even had oh, a shark oh. and everything. So. Uh, oh, so so now I'm curious. Does 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 it do what what the old what the original Aquaman did? Does whoever whoever took it in the tub? This is me. I don't. I know it wasn't intentional, but as a kid, one thing that we learned real quickly: if you did not have the Aquaman with the nylon trunks, if you had the second version, which had the cloth trunks, and this touched water, anything black. Got onto the orange, got onto the green. Oh, just no, like, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Just like if you ever taken a Star Trek, if you ever you see the Star Trek figures, they have that little black ring on their tunic. That's because yeah. they've gotten wet because mm. they these things bleed. And I was under the impression Kevin Kevin Fiore said he was able to get get that out. And I've never ever I was because as a kid, you know. Yeah. It, I think the second week I had my Star Trek figures, I was invited to a pool party and they all came. And then yeah, right. when, we, when I got back home, they all had the same. And I, that's how I figured it out. And I was young and I was devastated. So thank you, Mego. Well, yeah, I don't think for... I ever got my Mego figures wet. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's that's interesting. I never I never knew that. Um, wow. Aquaman yeah. in the bathtub with the great white shark set. Makes sense. I was there. You had that. You had that. that? I had yeah. that as a child. Yep. Oh, yep. Cool. I can remember the thing going around the bathtub, man. The the shark. It was it was it was cool. Wow. <laughs> that that is yeah, you had a very rare childhood memory because like not yeah. a lot of people had that set. Yep. Right. You don't have it anymore, do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm starting to learn that. So so my history's what was the thing? So so was it Kresge? Kresge is how you pronounce it, right? Kresge, yeah. Okay, so Kresge, so for some reason, I thought the Kresge cards were the first cards, but they weren't the first cards. They were actually the first cards. They were at it. They, I, they I, I honestly think, if, like, you know, and I could be wrong on this, but I honestly think the Kresge cards uh, inspired the, the like, the, what you're talking about is like the first issue cards, which is a, a common bit of nomenclature. Right. I think Kresge wanted them peggable 
and Migo initiated those cards and then offered those cards yeah. anywhere that wanted them. So it was just basically like saying, um, we'll do what you need to, you know, if you want to order them carded, you want to order them boxed. So right, right. I, I, I think that the Kresge cards were the first, but they, you know, they weren't unique to them. They were shared everywhere. They weren't exclusive to them, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean... I never saw them as a kid because I don't think they came to Canada. We we had boxed and then we had the regular cards yeah, yeah. in the in the in the late seventies. Um, but that was definitely because you get it with the Kresge logo. Like anything with the Kresge logo is an FOB, which means that Migo just shipped it right from Hong Kong to, and the minute it hit the water, it went to right. it, it was owned by Kresge, and then the other, um, uh, <clears throat> pardon me. The other section was or was just released to the general, like any retailer could, because I have lots of Kresge cards with different stickers on them. Gotcha. Yeah. Wow. Is PowerCon in charge of the booths that will exist in the Migo meet area, or will that be handled by the Migo Museum? Uh, that's an interesting question. Uh, we are the Migo Museum is fielding the applications for the Migo area in conjunction with PowerCon. So we're able to say, you know, uh, well, we, not, not that we're going to be like some uh, draconian review board, but we want to make sure that, it, you know, we don't want um, we don't want beanie babies in our section, or you know, we want it to be specific to us. Yeah, so, be like seventy-five, eighty percent Migo centric stuff. Is yeah, yeah, we want to curate that section. Um, you will find Migo in other parts of the show. Yep. Yep. Sure. Um, but um, who specifically? I don't know what that means. Uh, yeah. So we're we're gonna work with PowerCon and say, hey, we have you know twelve applications. All of these people are members of you know the, the former Migo Meet people or you know people we know that will be bringing the you know the the, the it's cloth awesome. dolls. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and who is specifically handling it? It'll probably be uh, me and Frank and Steve if he's around. Yep. Yeah. Look what, to what about, you know what? That's a good question. And I hope that happens is what about uh, Ultraman Leo? I was just thinking of that today. Um, I would love to see more Ultraman figures. Yeah, me too. I hope it happens. I'm holding out for a 14 inch. OG Ultraman. That's what I want. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. That would be kind of fun. Um, it well, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. be really cool. Really cool. And, so, um, oh, and I don't know if you know, but uh, 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 <clears throat> regardless, for sure, I know for sure you're going to have Mr. Fiore as a, a stage hand, whatever you, whatever you want him. And uh, I think... Oh. I'd like him as a best boy. The best boy? I don't even know what that is, but the stage I'm a, I'm a, hand has to do with anything. There you go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Work through that. Lots yeah, me fun. too. Lots of fun. All right, Scott, let's uh, we what do we got left as far as giveaways? You want to give away another set of the DC uh, PX stuff? Yeah, yeah, let's go ahead. And uh, by the way, it, it, all the winners, make sure that um you uh I just Frank, I was just gonna say to to uh, email or send you the direct message for the uh, the addresses and the ones that for CLC send them to me and I'll get those to yep. Chris. I got Shane. ASAP. I got Shane, Shane Bird covered already. I got him. I know his. Okay. Him, so. All right, we're giving away another set of the D PXDC exclusives. Roberta will go with uh, I don't we'll go with PowerCon, and we'll go with number thirteen. How's that? So did we do Migo Meet last time? I don't remember. We'll go with. We'll go I, with I did Mr. Mentor. Oh, okay, yeah, Mr. Well, you know let's go Migo Meat. Migo Meat, like number 13. Wait, you, you switch. Yeah, you got one. You got PowerCon, PowerCon, yeah, PowerCon. Yeah, PowerCon, I think we should just do PowerCon. It's totally right. cool. I think, uh, I think they should both work. Both will work. How's that? Yeah, number yeah 13. That, that, that's fair. Because it is, you know, it's a PowerCon with Migo Meat, Migo Meat, yeah. PowerCon. So there you go. Okay, we have a winner. Okay. We just don't know who it is yet because oh we're going to start goodness. counting. All right. So what do we have? Let's see. 
Okay, it starts with a uh, Facebook user, of course, and then William Joseph is number two. Troy is three. Ted is four. Meet, meet Con, I'd go to that. There you go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a, a vegan. Oh, now I lost count. Ah, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. <laughs> Roberta, who do you got? I was going to get you to say it first. <laughs> oh my goodness. I have to say I'm I'm I love the fact that there are so many people that are watching and just <laughs> thank you all. We send messaging. It. I mean, this is great. Yeah, it's crazy. So I'm actually doing a live right now. We know. Yes. See, they threw me. It switched from Pyrocon to Mega I, or yeah, Mega I, Meat. I, yeah. That's my fault. <laughs> it's okay. Wow, this is really. Uh... So I I, I, I kind of have a winner, but you said thirteen, Frank. I did. I did. All right. Five, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lucky number thirteen. Nine. 10, 11, 12. I so I'm, that right. I'm getting Facebook user for 13. Is that what you're getting? Yeah. So, and I can't tell. Eight, nine, it could be eight, anybody. That's all I see. Uh, wait a minute. Oh. So now we've, I've got to start going into each group. This thing is being broadcast. <laughs> see if I can find yeah, them there. Yeah, six, seven, eight, nine, <clears> Oh, man. I didn't know. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, that has nothing to do with that. I'm sorry. I just it's, it's something else. Um, I have a name. Okay, okay. what uh, what you got? Uh, I just want to let me just double check it. Uh, okay. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and then Shane breaks it up. Um, and seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. 11, 12, 13. I have I have uh, Daniel Cohen. Daniel Cohen. Yeah, I think that's right. Um, oh wait. Check check me on that. I might be wrong um, because this is like I I do not do well on Facebook Messenger because of this whole scrolling down nonsense. Um, <laughs> I I am. Uh, Okay, and then we got. Six. That's why I was letting somebody else do it today. Oh, like uh, yeah. Actually, you know what? I miscounted, and I apologize, Daniel. And I will send you a set of polyester pals if you PM nice. me your uh, nice your address because the winner is John Wise. John, I apologize. Wise. Yeah. John, John Wise, you have yeah. won. Some Daniel, figures. I, w I will. I will take care of you. I apologize. Um, Congrats! I hate to get your hopes up on that. Congrats, so, congrats, John. All right. Two things have happened here. First thing is, <clears throat> I forgot where I was at, and I started chewing mints, which I told myself I'm not going to do that while on air. Yeah. So it's too late. No gum so in class. Chewing that. No gum in class, class right? Uh, what did you win, Frank? A set of the new TX DC exclusives. That would be Red Hood. Red Sun Superman. And Flashpoint Batman. That's cool, man. Snap. Okay, so wow, <clears throat> we were why we why we were so busy being selfish and just talking amongst ourselves, not paying attention. Joel sent me a reveal. Oh, nice. so nice. let me just let me just preface this by by saying I've there noticed uh, a surge in a good surge, especially for somebody like me of music uh, uh, folks in you know in 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 the toy uh, collectible <coughs> market lately. I've seen some of the uh, uh, 
the uh, was it the pop vinyls and stuff. They're doing you know some pretty interesting yeah. stuff. You know, if you like that type of stuff. So yeah. Migo has added uh, one to their roster, and this is a prototype of Mr. Alice Cooper. Yeah. Oh, dang. Oh, that's, oh, nice. that's nice. Yeah, yeah. That, that's been a, a long time in the making. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a huge fan of Alice Cooper, so that's yes. awesome. I, I want that. Yeah. <laughs> Very so cool. we'll get it. Yeah, no, you really the, nailed it. For the uh, screenshotters, my one chance to. <laughs> there you go. I actually, I heard. I, I picked up a little bit of. Uh, how that's going to look from uh, a conversation. Happy Friday, it's I went dark. Yeah, your phone went dark, dude. Went dark. Oh, it was my phone. I was going to say, I was trying to adjust my lights and go. everything. Very cool. Oh, that's great. It's cool that's to really see uh, more, you know, more music related. I hope we see so, more. So I, yeah, I, I honestly to... like Alice Cooper. Like I wanted an Amigo Alice Cooper kid, figure as a kid, not Kiss. I, I was more into him. So that's awesome. awesome. Yeah. Awesome. And uh, uh, just to talk real quick, I hate to jump the, the boat here, but <laughs> I can only imagine. Well, actually, I think we all kind of we probably all kind of know, but there's so many different Alice Cooper uh, uh, outfits and, and, and mm -hmm. you know, uh, I'm interested to see what 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 the one is that they will choose. <clears throat> yeah, and that's, a, that's an interesting, um, interesting question. Uh, I hope he does well so we can see other, you know, variations. Iterations. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. Very cool. But uh, so even, the, even the Toy Ventures uh, video that I do, the intro song is by Alice Cooper. <laughs> so. Okay. There. So I'm going to say, because I was thinking when you so showed the Alice Cooper, <laughs> that there's possible hints in some pictures from PowerCon. Because your background, people should check that out. Check it out. Oh, my background? Or Frank's no, background? Uh, from pictures from, I believe it was the PowerCon uh, yep. background for the booth. The I don't think it was the PowerCon because PowerCon. It or was, was it oh, you mean that? No, you guys set up a while no, back. No, no. Yeah, it was. Show. And you had Pinocchio there, and I, I remember what show was that? Um, so you were there, Frank. I wasn't. I, I was. Are you talking about <laughs> the, um, the Rhode Island Comic Con with the big banner we had? Uh, on? Yeah, that could I have been it. So. Yeah, I think you're right. But I'm, um, you know, I could be wrong. But there were lots of cool stuff on that banner. Yes, there was. <laughs> yeah, there was something I wanted to ask about. Uh, there was a, like a Starship Enterprise, wasn't there? It was lots of stuff on that banner. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, I got I got my answer. I just oh, I have Alice standing Cooper standing out. Yeah, yeah. Alice yeah. Cooper standing out on there. Yeah, Alice okay, Cooper's so, phones. I was listening to that yesterday, Michael. It's in one of my repeat uh, Spotify so, lists. <clears throat> so, so now we got to go and start researching uh, backlog pictures, Roberta. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I think clues. it's very important that you get a lot of information when you're on the Migo Ambassador site. Would it, That's would all it be? I'm saying. Mm -hmm. I mean, I know this is all coincidence, but wouldn't it be something like if this was all like some kind of plan like thing? I'm like, well, we'll just show this on this banner at this particular show. And maybe they'll pick it up. Like, <laughs> like, like we know that there's no way that that could happen. But, you know, that would be funny if like at the end of the day, it's like, oh, yeah. Like, like you walk into an office one day and there's there's like from day one, everything that's ever happened that we thought like, God, how this yeah, it's all drawn out. Like, it's all, there. It's all been there in the background. <laughs> You just have to know. <laughs> That's funny. All right. That is funny. So we got, I've actually got one more set to put okay. away, and that would be the new the new kids on the block. Ooh, I got to check that out. There you go. Flash and Green Lantern. Oh, yeah. yeah. The new, and something just fell, and it wasn't in this room, so I guess I'm not worried about it unless it was my computer in my other room. So, I mean, these, these, these are really good looking figures. However, these would, in my opinion, these would have came out probably in 75 or 76 with the Fantastic yeah. 75, Four. Yeah, I, I think the look is very yep. conducive exactly. to 75, 76. Yeah. That, uh, as a matter of fact, uh, 
Oh, how'd that happen? As a matter of fact, this this would be a good uh, be a good buddy for Reed Richards to hang out with because that's about to me that's that, that's that's about the same. Uh, uh, <clears throat> if you consider like Bruce Wayne and Dick Grayson, you know, kind of look not cartoonish, but looked didn't yeah. look as as you know, no, they they, they as, definitely improved as they went along and oh for, yeah. I, I've always struggled with it just in my, you know, my own version of what's right and wrong of versions of the Flash and Green Lantern I've seen over the years. And I was like, eh, it doesn't look like that Migo would have put it out in a certain era. And I'm glad they stuck to that landing of like mid 70s because they mm -hmm. just, they fit. And um, they do. They would have looked. Um, demonstrably different in 74 as opposed to like 76 and yep. uh i thought they i thought they nailed it i really did um but you've got you know you've got a fan sculpting them in andrew mm -hmm. and then you've got someone overseeing them with paul who knows what he's doing and and you know like people of People always say, "Oh, I would want a removable cowl flash or something like that." And it's like, no, that that nobody knew who the Flash was. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so it just it really it really works. They 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 captured uh, something where I looked at them and went, "Oh, these these are really really the best attempt I've ever seen at trying to look like a vintage Mego and succeeding." And, um, you know, it doesn't hurt that they're next to <clears throat> all these good replicas, mm -hmm. you know, it kind of, they all kind of just fall in line, but they yeah. don't, they don't, uh, they don't jut out as not fitting yep. in. And that's, that's and uh, it's huge. What's cool to both of your points about when you look at those, I do see, you know, 75, 76. And you think about yeah. it, if they, if Mika would have come out with Green Lantern and Flash at 75, 76, they more likely wouldn't have had the oven mitts because they would have been more trending towards like the it's Green a, Arrow. Exactly. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, or, yeah. or Mr. Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic. We'll see. Exactly, exactly. So yeah, they yeah. were always they were always experimenting with you know gloves versus hands and yep. Um, I, I guess the Fantastic Four, the, you know, because of the gauntlets, they went with those those plastic hands. That, those wouldn't have bugged me as a kid as much as the oven mitts. I think. Yeah. I can tell you right. I can tell you for for one of the, one of the, one of the things, I, just just one of my fond, my, my, if not my most fondest memory, was me getting that box that I personally I got to pick. You know, everybody fills out the little comic book things. Oh, I want this one, this one, this one. Well, I actually mm -hmm. got to do it. Yeah, my mom actually fronted the money, sent away for it, and I got. A box. I think it was whatever the box was. Called. It must have been. It had to be an even number because every spot was filled and it was just packed tight. But right. they were all of the ones that I, you know, most of them I never even laid eyes on. And as first time I seen Mr. Fantastic, and mm -hmm. as I was either ten, I want to say I guess I was ten years old, maybe maybe between eight and ten, I, whatever. But I was, I, I guess I was either intuitive or smart enough at that point to uh, to understand like this is a step up. These are, these were game changing figures, you know, and, and including the, in those figures were the first, you know, rooted hair, you know, males, which with a, a Conan Money and Thor, and yeah. just taking the, and just seeing like all the accessories, because as kids, that was one of our biggest things, you know, you had LJN coming out with, uh, with equipment packs and thinking like, God, you know, where's, you know, why there's just, you know, in big Jim, I had big Jim, you know, at the same time with me going, you know, big Jim comes with like, like a hundred thousand you know, pieces and, and whatever. And they figured out a way for big Jim. To anyway. So pulling those out, seeing all that extra gear and, and the detail and the head sculpts. And, and I was, I was my little click. I was at that point, I was like the oldest. And, and uh, so I had all the, like the, like I would show them and I was holding them like this. And we were all making comments. Like we didn't even want to take them out of the box. They, like they were that nice. Was like, wow. We're not, yeah. Like we can't even really play with these. But it was all of, you know, all the Fantastic Four, except for Thing. I opted, I don't know why, man, but I, I opted not to get Thing. Mm -hmm. And instead, I think I, 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 think I, I got a, uh, I think I got Batgirl. And that was like a real tough decision because, yeah, it, you know, it was the 70s, man. It's like, what do you mean you're, what do you mean? Like, like if the bigger kids would have found out, they probably would have, you know, beat me up. Like, what do you mean you traded a, but my whole thing was, I didn't know there was a removable cow Batman or, or, or Robin before this. I just thought right. like, well, this is strange. I don't know why they went with that. I, I figured my thought was, 
well, they couldn't make the ears big because maybe it wouldn't have held up or would have broke or something. That's what I was thinking of skipping. At any rate, <clears throat> the reason why I got the Batgirls is because her cow was removal. And in my theory, I was thinking like, oh, well, I'll take that and I'll put it on my Batman and then I'll have a, but of course, you know, that, right. that doesn't work. But yeah. anyway, that's, that's my little, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I got Iron Man. That was probably the last world's greatest superhero that I got. Um, and I got him late and I remember just like being kind of blown away. I like, you know, like I liked a lot of the characters, but he was really well done and he had lots he could, of gimmicky, yeah. you know, he could throw items a punch with yeah. that glove. Yeah. That was yeah. Yeah. Knock, yeah. Knock down another hero. Yeah. I always liked that about the lizard too. He had that fist, you know? Yep. Was, oh, was, I see. And, and, and I don't know why, but I never had a lizard. I had a lizard lizard, but not Amigo lizard. You know, I never had one. It's just, it's such a great figure. I didn't get one till, uh, till Facebook started. I had, yeah. to have, I had to have a lizard and goblin. I had a lizard. I had a lizard too. I, I yeah. actually saw the lizard, a box lizard, uh, at a Christmas display at Woolworths growing up over, you walk over the, over the entranceway to the diner in Woolworths. They had like a Christmas display and they had like, you know, box Amigo set up and the lizard was there, man. It was, it was, so cool to see that. I can still remember. Yeah, that. yeah, it's funny how those, those they 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 uh, become unforgettable memories for you. Yes, I've yep. never had a Gorn, Gorn either. I mean, it's like some of me. I never saw best, the Gorn as a kid. Best yeah. work. I mean, it's like how yeah. can I not? You know, Green Goblin. And, and the funny thing is, is is that sixty seven Spider Man. Well, I guess that came on when I was actually too old to have stuff. But that '67 cartoon, boy, I thought that was a, I thought that was the greatest thing since Johnny Quest. You know, oh, that was, to me, that was that was you know right up there. You know, all right, Frank, let's let's. Uh, you got? You gonna give away that Flash and Green Lantern? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna give away the twins. Uh, so let's do the uh, let's do uh, the, the we'll do uh, uh collar we'll do collar fifteen. That uh, just says what these two figures are: Flash and Green Lantern. Let's do it. Let's do it. Flash and Green Lantern for all the monsters. And I know it's going to start coming in. Yep. It's spinning out of control. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh shit! Shoot, thirteen. Well, I think we have a winner. Roberta, what do you have? Seven. Hang on. Okay. I'm retired. I've learned if I like let a whole bunch of them come through and then scroll down. <laughs> I'm with you, Ron. <laughs> you give a very loud cease your ingress. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we got up. Do relaxing. D o r e l a x e n. If I'm oh. counting right, don't hold me to it. But oh, I thought yeah, you were yeah, I know that on me YouTube. A... Yeah. I what apologize if I said it wrong. Yeah, you know, he's got uh, Vivian from the Young Ones as his, uh, as his nice. avatar. All right. Well, you, uh, I'm just going to go with whatever you just said. Or like However, him. yeah, <clears throat> very cool. I can't Congrats, see him. Man. I tell you what, Roberta, can you can you uh, uh, can you type it in the chat his his name, and then I'll just highlight it because I don't even I don't even see anything that looks like that. I thought you were giving me a command, you know, like hey, oh. be relaxed, Roberta. be relaxed. <clears throat> Oh, got it. Yeah, you sure that's not a command? Okay. 
So watch this technology. Ooh, he it just looks copied. like it might have been YouTube. It's a YouTube yeah. one. <clears throat> well, I cool. should have been able to see cool. that. Very cool. Okay. All right. So, and again, we need your at. Oh, so he's right there. Yeah. No, wait. Oh, thanks, guys. Yeah, he said thanks. Okay. So we need yep. your email. I mean, not your email. Your your mail mail email address. Yes. Okay. And Frank, do you have? Are you uh, are you all out of are are you all out of giving? I'm all, I'm for just a, for, for just a few pennies well, Christmas more. Christmas season's over. We are yes. we're all a little out of giving. Well, here's what I'll do. Oh, I'm, not gonna be the, I'm not going to be the one checking names and all that kind of stuff. I'll leave it up to you. If you want to do 150th. One, hey, well, this is the grand prize winner. I'll, if you guys want to do it, we'll say caller number 16. And what they're going to say, they're going to say my favorite of the world's greatest reissues or anniversary figures. I'll let you know what that is. I will give away a whole set. All seven. Get and your dialing figures ready. And it's caller number 16. You have to say Aquaman. Go. You know, I knew that. I could have just jumped the gun. <laughs> but then you would have been 16. Oh, yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> Crap. Okay. Plus, I already oh, boy. Hat. That's totally cool. He's got an hour to count because this is going crazy. Yeah. I actually um, got to go in five anyways. Yeah, I'm so do I. Same here. Yeah. So do I. I promised. This is like this is like being at the bar. I promised the wife I'd be home at nine, and it's 12 minutes after, so my stuff is being thrown into trash bags as we, as we speak and taken to the curb. I, I uh, I've, I've had three club sodas, so this is the opposite of being at the bar for me. <laughs> See, there you go. What, what did you call? What did you call the Canadian Fight Club? He said. Oh, I don't know. He said it's like the. I don't know, it's just something like the I'm sorry something. Oh like yeah, the person. Apology Club. Yeah, yeah. It's just, <laughs> Long running joke: The Canadians apologize. It's actually yes. not a terrible stereotype about us, you know. Uh, darn our friendliness. Okay, I don't know. Oh, man, me, man. how do I contact you? Uh, uh, yeah, Roberta, I'm going to let you feel this one while I'm answering. Uh, uh, PM. Not a single mermaid, man. <laughs> Uh, while, while we have some while Robert is doing that I'll just open this again up and oh yeah look, look at that dueling Pinocchios ding, 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 ding. Hey. very cool set yeah that's a very nice set love the presentation and the, the five I want to I want to see the men off card on this yeah I'd make it um, if I can get a hold of one, um, that's that I, I'm trying to drop a, a hint to the powers that be. Hint, 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 hint. We gotta see if we it's need. on Amazon.ca. No, we need to. Not. There's that one. Also, before I get off here, I just want to remind oh, people yeah. the Minix brand. Oh, yeah. Are those out now? They are actually on oh, yeah. Amazon, Mego Store on Amazon. They should be up on Walmart.com, if not now, very shortly. Mm -hmm. um, all of your regular, normal e-tailers from Mego will have the available, will have the ability to carry these. I will be carrying them. I'm sure others will be as well. Yeah, it looks like a real GameStop type item. Yeah. 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 Yeah, you guys are doing the, the Wednesday, right? That looked pretty good. Cool. Yes, Wednesday yeah. in Enid. Talk about being on the zeitgeist. Yeah. You know, that that's a, a hot show right now. That's going to look great. Yeah, yep. What, to, uh, private, uh, uh, Roberta, just put, put it in the chat. Who do you think it is? Yeah, see if someone. Because this is, this is a big one. I don't want to get this one up on. Yeah. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, cool. that's what it because it's. I mean, as soon as you get I, to I, one I, point, and then a whole bunch more comes in. That's why. 
because that was between that and I, I've re, I just the guys that are, are ripping me about the bum wine thing. I retired from that. Uh, <laughs> I don't have the liver of a thirty-five year old anymore. Uh, oh, <laughs> I don't shit. I I'm a, I don't New Year's. I don't drink. I don't do nothing. I used to I used to be bad boy. I'll tell you. I am so listen. I'm boring. Things now. that things oh that I'm thankful for. What, one of the biggest yeah. things that I'm most thankful for, out of all things is I just, I, I thank God every day that social media was not invented yet when I was still carrying on because I would have been in a lot Dude, of trouble. I, I, I have I a VHS say. tape from college that I keep very close to me. It's like the picture of Dorian Gray. I don't want anyone to <laughs> find it. And I don't want to throw it out, but um, yeah, right. Yeah, my kids are coming. My kids are both home. Their significant others are coming over and that yeah. will oh, be wow. our New Year's. And, oh wow! Uh, okay, I couldn't be happier. I, I would probably not all be in the same room, but we'll all be in the same house. So. See, yeah. that's that's how I am. It's like yeah. all you have to do. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a very family social person, but I like being able to hear their voices because I do my yeah. own little thing, and you know that's all it is. They're like, yeah, are you okay? Like, I'm great. If you guys are fine, I'm great. But you guys are upset. That's fine. Well, I'm not okay. All right, I, so uh, Roberta. All right, who we got? Yeah, you're going to go ahead, just whoever you say, that's who it is, because you're the candidate. Oh, that's tough, because, I mean, you've gotten one, I've gotten two different ones. I'm, I'm out. I, just, I, figured, I figured like this, I'm out, because my feed just jammed up. That's a good story. I'm going to stick to it. So, you you have just just whoever you think it is. Okay. You got you got, uh, you got got two names there. I'm not going to influence you. And while, while Roberta's counting again, Frank, I'm just going to go ahead and, and uh, tell everybody, like, uh, thank you guys for coming on tonight. Brian, it was short notice, Frank. I know uh, we we just threw this together from last week because because of, you know, I was working on. Uh, oh, we had that technical of, difficulty mm -hmm. last week. Oh, yeah. It was, it was clicking yep, so, along nicely, too. So that was uh, it was a shame. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But for well, our friends that couldn't join us tonight, uh, Happy New Year to you. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. I have I'm actually. Just, uh, go ahead. Go, I was going to say, I, I, as usual, I have nothing to push, but just whatever you guys got, I'm right behind you 100%. I yeah. was just going to say uh, Happy Holidays, Happy New Year to everybody out there. Thank you for joining us this Friday. Uh, again, just keep in mind, ZoloCon is coming up February 25th and 26th in Warminster, PA. It's going to be a heck of a show, so try and make it. You know, come out and see us. Uh, just a reminder again, Minix, Pinocchio, check out the Amigo store on Amazon, Walmart.com. Those items will be coming to all of your, your favorite e-tailers here pretty soon as well. So, uh, you know, check them out. Thank you, guys. Appreciate everything. Oh, wow. Okay. Then that's – then go ahead. Say – Roberta, go ahead and say, say – uh, What I'm saying is Ricardo Ramos. Ricardo, Ricardo Ramos, gotcha. All right. Gotcha. Gotcha. Congratulations. Congratulations. So gotcha. you didn't have to you didn't have to do that, but I want you to tell Frank that. Okay. After after we go off the air, because this yeah. is it, you know, that was pretty nice of you. Ricardo Ramos, you are the and Prize winner, all expense paid trip to Win Dixie, local grocery store. And prize. I'm more of a, a, more of a Publix a guy. Publix. You know, Publix is a better store, 100%. Do not. My grandma, my grandma lived in Florida, and she mispronounced all their names because she English was her second language. I believe. What did what, what did she call it? Publix store oh. or some Publix. <laughs> That was one of my favorite. Um, she she had uh, she had some funny uh, euphemisms that I still use to this day. You know, um, <laughs> comfort table was my favorite. Uh, yeah. Wait, wait, so, wait, what was it? Oh, <laughs> are you comfortable? <laughs> that's go. that's funny. Oh yeah, that's funny. Yeah. That's how the people live on in you, you know? Um, yep. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely yeah. right. Um, yeah, right. I think you just message Frank or Scott. and yeah. you get just, your, mess just message yeah. me, Ricardo. I got you. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. And then Dora Laxon is uh, messaging you through Twitter, and that's you, Frank. So okay. that should good work deal. out pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Great. This was fun, guys. Yep. Yeah, it Thanks, was. Guys. Brian, you want to take us out? Sure, but I just want to say thanks, everyone, for a great year. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, and I appreciate the support. And, uh, you know, let's. Uh, it, 2023 is looking like it's going to be uh, more fun, and I'm really looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to working with you guys, and, and uh, happy Absolutely. New Year. Happy New yeah, Year, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Okay. Uh, was, was this was fun. Yep. It, was, it was definitely fun. And we are on our way out.